In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Curtis Connor is a commentary YouTuber with over 4 million subscribers. He is known for his hilarious videos, podcasts, and stand-up comedy shows. He has also delved into the trading card world once opening a Metal Raiders first edition box. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price episode 13. Today's guest is Curtis Connor. Curtis, how you doing? Hi, good. How you um thanks for having me. I'm really excited. Very nervous, but I'm excited. So normally we have like, you know, just content creators. So they just, you know, make videos about cardboard. But now we have like a funny guy on here. So I don't know how this is going to like work. So there's a lot of pressure. You got to make people laugh this time. So it's, oh, a, it's up to you. OK. <laughs> All right. OK, there's no so pressure. much more pressure now. There's no pressure on that. But there is pressure that you are following the best guest we have ever had. He won the one thousand dollar prize for a giveaway. Yo, no way. It, that's sort of pressure, but it's also nice because I mean, it's it's already been done. You don't have to worry about it. You can just kind of do whatever you want now. Right. Yeah. Because before there was that pressure, like when, who's going to do it. Right. And now it's already been done. So, yeah, it's like maybe Curtis will be the one. But, you know, it's already happened. So <laughs> yeah. no big deal. It's all good. You can get the absolute worst prize. You're just going to do your best. Right. Totally. Totally going to happen. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to do my all best. Right. Question number one. We have the Blue Eyes White Dragon Secret Rare from the 2002 Collector's 10. Okay, and these are all raw, right? Like, no. Yeah, we're doing all near mint, like TCG player low prices for like verified sellers. I'm not going to do any graded. I'm not going to do any like light play or anything weird like that. So we're just going with that. All right. Um, do you know this card? I'm familiar with it. Yes. Yeah, I was. Well, I wasn't sure like what like you would know a whole lot of. So I, I went with older cards. So I hope that was a good decision for you. It was. Yeah, I'm not okay. too up to date with the the current like modern stuff. But okay. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna go tier two. Okay. So you think it's in the tier two range? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, so you're thinking 101 to 250, somewhere in there. Yeah. Interesting. All right, might be on the right track. <laughs> Damn. Could be, could not. I don't know. I can't really tell you. <laughs> oh, man. You do, though, have three life lots. So if you want to use those right off the bat, you could. I'm trying to think if I should go use one up first so I can, like, boost the confidence a little bit. Yeah, do you like to, to start strong or finish strong? Which one? I'm going to use a lifeline, okay? Okay, all right, all right, let's <laughs> do it. Yeah, tell me what which tier it's in. How about? All right, we are starting. You want to start off strong. I like the strategy. Okay. Yeah. You before said you were thinking tier two. Yeah. With your first lifeline, I'm going to tell you if you're right or not. You are. It's a tier two card. Let's go. Okay. All right. So you're already in the right range. I feel like these aren't that. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go 135. 135. Okay. $135. Curtis Connor. Here's the correct answer. A hundred and thirteen dollars. Okay. That's pretty good. That's, That's a good start. Yeah, 20 bucks uh, when you, So I can actually see you. I usually can't see the, the guests, but uh -huh. you made the, like you were going to say 13. And I was like, is he going to uh, say 113? And then damn. you went to 135. I was like, okay, still pretty good. If you Dang. had said 113, that would have been pretty impressive. But okay, still pretty good though, because you do get a bonus for each tier. You're in the right tier. So you get a $10 credit added, added back on at the end. And the Shit. last guy who got in the 1%, which was insane, uh, he got all the tiers right. And it basically boosted him up to get that top prize. So, wow. all okay. right, pretty good start. Let's go to the second one. Slide for the Sky Dragon, ultra rare for American god cards this is the gbi from the game boy game so there was the secret rare and then the ultra rare printing this is the ultra rare printing okay and this is from the game boy game yeah the the ones back in like 1999 or whatever it was this was my favorite i i never had this card but i wanted it so bad when i was a kid it was my favorite of the the god cards i think it's a little underrated so a lot of people like obelisk i think this one's pretty cool yeah i was i remember being like on the edge of my seat at that when they like the first battle with Life for the Sky Dragon, it was like... Yeah, the one with strings and when, like, they have all the revival jam and everything. Yeah. It's a great... It's a classic episode. I feel like everyone remembers that one, along with, like, the relinquished episodes and stuff. It's so iconic. I remember, like, on edge of my seat on Saturday morning. So, uh, a little background on this card is, like, they, they had the first wave, which was, like, the big secret... Rare, prismatic secret rares. And I think you had to, like, pre-order to get those, but then everything... After that, they had the ultra rare version in it. So this was like the more common version of the card. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking because they must have printed so many of these because it's come with a Game Boy game. So I'm going to think tier one. I'm thinking tier okay. one. Lower end card. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, tier one, I think I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, God, I think I'm gonna do <laughs> $56. $56. Fifty-six Mackers. All right, Curtis. Question two. You said tier one. You think okay? They probably printed a lot of these. Probably not gonna be like three hundred bucks because you know when it's in the game every time. You know, unless you're me and you open up a Game Boy game for the DDS promos and they're not in there. But mm-hmm. you know, usually they're in there. The Slide for the Sky Dragon Ultra Rare from GBI. This card is thirty-nine dollars. Okay, <laughs> you're kind of killing it right now. You're kind I'm... of a phenom at this. Okay, have you been studying? No, literally not at all. I've. <laughs> I've consistently been twenty dollars more. So for the next one, I'm gonna my whatever my guess is, I'm gonna subtract twenty. And subtract right twenty, on. and you'll be right on. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. All right, question three. <laughs> let's get to it. You might be familiar with this card. I might have been there when it happened. So we have Gate Guardian Secret Rare First Edition from Metal Raiders. I was there when you pulled you this. You were there on the stream. I mean, I was there <laughs> like ethereally. I was like, my voice was there. Right. Yeah. You were. I remember I gave this to. Jarvis, because I felt so bad that I was pulling all the hollows out of the box. Oh, I just remember he, like, didn't you pull, like, all of the hollows except one or something? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Poor guy. I know, it was rough, but he got the Gate Guardian, and I'm pretty sure it graded a nine for him, so that's Yeah, that was sweet. That was a great box, actually. Yeah, it was awesome. My Summon Skull got a Got a nine too, pretty hype. But that's uh, I. I only know the prices for the graded. I don't know what it is for. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what it is graded? I but well, I mean, I don't know what it's like now. I <laughs> feel like last year <laughs> might have been different. Um, yeah, probably. Get Guardian. Or would it be around like twelve hundred? Are you talking about for a ten or what? Like a nine, maybe, or is that too much? Yeah, like, uh, yeah. I will. Yeah, the the prices have come down, but at one point it was about twelve hundred for a nine. That's pro- I haven't been up to date, but um, okay. So now with the. Okay. You do have two lifelines if you're not you're sure. Because right. the big <laughs> ones are, right. are the, the tier. The, if you think it's a tier three, which, you know, it seems like you might be in that range, you know, because those are the hard ones because it's such a big range. You're right. But if you have an idea for it, then don't. You know, it's up to you. And this is first. Ad- okay. You know what? I am going to use. No, you know what? No, I'm not going to use the lifeline. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to guess tier three. Okay. I'm guessing. Or should I? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Should you? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of pressure on you. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use. Can I use? Can I still use the lifeline? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're good. You haven't submitted an answer. You're good to go. I'm going to guess a number. Okay. You're going to pick a number lower or higher? Yeah. Okay. 249. 249. Okay. So you. Okay. Wait. So you're trying to figure out which tier it's in? <laughs> kind of. Is that what you're trying to. So you might want to say 250 because because 251 is tier three. And oh, then, true. Yeah. Okay, that's what I I misspoke. Okay, I meant yeah, to say okay, yeah. I just want to make sh- I, I I just know <laughs> what you're trying to do, so I'm gonna do that. If you guess it exactly right, I'm still waiting for this to happen. I'm just gonna have to say neither, but that still has not happened. But uh, okay, so 250. You're using your second lifeline. You want to know if it's lower or higher than that? It is higher than 250 dollars. Okay, so I was right about the tier. Okay, so I think both times you've used the lifeline, you were already right about the tier. Uh, I know. I'm doubting myself. Yeah, use your confidence. You got confidence, man. Okay, you know what? My guess is like 300 so i'm gonna go 20 less and go 280 okay 280 so you're you're uh you're using your strategy of being 20 away usually okay let's see if it works out you know it's tier three because of your lifeline the gate guardian secret rare first edition for metal raiders is 340 dollars really yeah, it's very expensive. But for near mint, it, it's like close to be like if you grade it as like a nine, it's only like a slight bump up from being like near mint because that's basically eight. Dang. I, for a second, I thought when you said twelve hundred, you were gonna go really high, but then you were like in the right range. I was like, oh, he just he, he Dude, just knows this stuff. I know. I'm like, I just know that the. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, honest, well, honestly, you act like this is bad. This isn't even a bad guess. Like you're only sixty dollars off. True. Which I guess technically, is your worst one and is getting dropped right now. If sixty is your worst guess, you're gonna have a pretty good round. So okay, let's go. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go to question four. It's a good okay. start. It's a good start, honestly. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm just here for moral support, you know? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, question four. You have one more lifeline. That's to swap out the question if you want to do that at some point. Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare, first edition from Ghost from the Past 2. This is a newer card. I didn't give you a lot of newer cards, but this is a newer one. Okay, so this was... I actually got a case of this. I when figured it came you, out. there was a chance you would open some of this because it is sort of old school because it has all the the ghosts and stuff. Yeah, I didn't. I don't, I got like one blue eyes ultimate and like three dark arm dragon or something or something. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it wasn't a very good 
case but those but. cases are kind of wacky like you'd either get you could get zero you could get eight you could get like a bunch of the same one it was pretty weird yeah i didn't get anything i i wanted but it's all good it was fun but this was like probably the chase card correct i think yeah it was the, i think it is the top card of the set okay so i think probably because i know it went down a little bit i think i'm thinking tier two okay and i think i'm gonna guess 150 Four, 154. 154. Okay, 154. You're very specific. I like it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare First Edition from Ghost from the Past 2. The answer is 191. Okay. So you're in the pretty good the range. Right like you have nailed all four tiers so far. Like you knew exactly the range. You just, uh, yeah. I mean, you haven't been that far off, but you've been right in the range pretty much. So Dang. pretty okay. good guess, especially for the time. Did you, I guess, did you know, like, cause this used to be like 400 bucks. So did, did you know they've kind of like come down a little bit? I do remember looking after like the, a few weeks after and like months after seeing that. Cause I remember being like, oh, I spent however much on a case and like the actual chase card is like literally <laughs> like so cheap compared to what the case <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's like, not, not even a third of the price or that yeah, I paid exactly. or whatever. I, I could just get it now. Yeah. But. Yep. That, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not bad. You're, that's actually solid. I mean, you have not had a bad guess yet, really. So I'm impressed so far. I'm not going to lie. Me I'm, too, I'm pretty honestly. impressed. You're, I think your real goal here is to beat Jarvis because like, you know, yeah. commentary genre and everything. But he <laughs> did have 15 questions. So I always have to throw that in there. I gave Dang. him the hardest quiz and I said, OK, everybody else is going to have to be easier. Right. Yeah. Jarvis is very knowledgeable he's very knowledgeable so that, that yeah does he, make he sense. was given like all the background and everything and his it was great okay but if you, you you're on pace to i think potentially beat him so we're gonna have to see what happens question five halfway point let's go injection fairy lily secret rare first edition from legacy of darkness i know this is a big one i'm not too familiar with it but i feel like i've seen you pull one of these in a video <laughs> i have pulled a, i have pulled this before yeah and i remember it being like a big deal so i think i'm gonna go tier three and okay. i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess 420 420 interesting number you got there yeah, all right four two zero okay curtis are you locking that sucker in? Final answer, 420. Final answer, 420. Okay. Well, Curtis, maybe you should have done another meme number because I think it would have done a lot better for you because the answer to this one is $70. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if you went 69 nice, you would have been $1 off, bro. Yeah, th this card is one that it's a little deceiving because it's the one of the biggest cards of the set, but for some reason, it's not very expensive. Legacy of Darkness is a little bit easier to find in terms of the older sets. I still don't get why it's $70. Like, it's just a little bit too cheap. I understand why he has 420 because it's like the card of the set, basically. Fortunately for you, this one's getting wiped away, so no big deal. We can just throw that one out. Fat L on that one. That was and bad. I, you had good reasoning. I mean, you knew it was a big deal, but yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, that was a little tricky. I wasn't sure if you were familiar with that card or not. Damn. Okay, right. that's okay. Halfway point. That one's thrown out. You're still doing fine. You do have one more lifeline. Don't forget, you can swap out any question you're not too sure about. Okay. How are you feeling about halfway? How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would, so I'm, I'm proud of myself. You're doing great so far. Okay, let's go. Question six. One more lifeline. It is the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon Prismatic Secret Rare from Forbidden Memories. This is also from a game. It's a game promo from the early 2000s. Dang. You familiar with this card at all? No, I'm not. Like at all. Interesting. Okay. I thought you might have been. Forbidden Memories. I don't know if that's the game. Which year did that game come out? It was one of the early ones. It was 2002 three maybe or something like that it also had harpy's pet dragon in it what's the other one uh then the uh the metal morph but i think it was a pc game maybe it was like pretty early oh interesting okay or maybe it was playstation i can't remember i didn't have it so you do have your lifeline if you want to swap it out if you're completely unfamiliar yeah because i have zero idea i might swap it out i might do that okay all right let me know if you want to definitely do that true i guess i could i will so i am go i want to swap okay it. you are confirming you want to swap <laughs> yeah. it out okay and uh, another reminder whatever tier this was in the replacement is also in that tier so i'm if, if this is tier one the next one's tier one so if gotcha. you have any guess at all maybe that could help you out so what would you have guessed theoretically on this one theoretically i would have guessed like probably tier two you know probably like a hundred and 
ten dollars or something all right your final lifeline on question six has been invoked and we're replacing your question with the king dragon ultimate rare first edition from flaming turn so like i made your list it was like hopefully stuff you knew these backups have nothing to do with if you know them or not they're just if people have used them so this probably just got worse for you i'm it not did. gonna lie it, it really did i can give you some info on flaming eternity if it might maybe help so Flaming Eternity came out in 2004, I believe. So it's a pretty old set. It was the second set with Ultimate Rares, I think, in the US. Uh, so that might maybe could help you out a little bit. I think I am going to do tier three. Um, and I'm going to guess 271. 271. Okay. So your theoretical guess on the Black Metal Dragon was 110. Okay. Let's go through what, what that actually was. The Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, Prismatic Secret Rare from Forbidden Memories. You guess 110. It is 180. Okay. So that means your next one's in tier two, which is not, not a good sign. <laughs> no. I will tell you though, if you had guessed 110 on this one, on your second one, you'd be in good shape because this card is $115. Damn. Okay. Yeah, you, if you'd flopped them, you would have been better. But yeah, that, that was kind of a tough King Dragon. If you don't know, if you never heard of it, it's kind of a weird one. So that's okay. No big deal. Let's just forget about that. Let's pretend like it didn't happen. It sometimes didn't swapping happen. the question, it's a, it's a gamble. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Exactly. Uh, in this case, didn't work out too well, but that's okay. Because I think you might know, maybe not this one, but you'll know a couple <laughs> of these at the end. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number seven, let's go. Dark Magician, ultra rare from Shonen Jump Magazine, promos here we go ultra rare shonen jump magazine promo wow that's a cool car i don't think i've ever even yeah it's got it's got a very it's got like a specific artwork that's only available for this card cool that's a cool card yeah it's pretty sick i mean you gotta think in a magazine promo that that's pretty tricky to find especially in like okay condition that's what i'm guessing because, you know, people are sitting and folding magazines and stuff and they're getting <laughs> stacked on top of stuff. It's like, yeah. Also, keep in mind that, you know, it's it's a promo. So it's in there every time. That is true. Just, just throwing that out there. Yeah, this is tricky. I think, um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go. I'm changing it up. I'm hoping I'm right. I'm going to go to tier one. OK. And I'm going to do eighty eight dollars. Eight, eight dollars. Okay, no even numbers around here. 88 bucks. Dark Magician Ultra Rare from Shonen Jump Magazines. You're saying that this is the last tier one, plus maybe a bonus one. Let's see if you were right. It is $66. Let's, oh, dude, yes. I should have took 20 off again. Yeah, if you had done 20 off, <laughs> when you're close, it's always 20 above. <laughs> oh, dang, okay. Hey, though, no, that's not bad, though. I mean, you're, you're in the right tier. And you get that. the bonus, so you're good to go. It's kind of weird because now you have three tier twos and three tier ones. So you know basically that two of the last three have to be tier three because you got to have right. three of them. So that gives you a little bit of help there. All right, let's go to question eight. You're looking pretty decent so far. You got to be Jarvis though. So that's that's the whole goal here. <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> trying to do. <laughs> he's he's probably like going to be watching this like, ah, oh, come on. He's rooting against you. All right, here we go. Question eight, polymerization, super rare first edition from the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, the first set Ooh, of Yu-Gi-Oh. Iconic card. Very iconic. I mean, first edition LOB, that's, you know, that's the set, you know. So yeah, true. I I'm thinking tier three. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely tier three. You know, I'm sort of I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to polymerize all my not my prior knowledge right now. Yeah, just right Combine into the it. exact right answer. I'm gonna say gosh, I think five thirty. Five three zero. Yeah. You feel pretty confident about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you haven't locked it in, so it's not too late. Okay, 510. I'm taking 20 off. You feel pretty good about that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> 510, okay. Polymerization, super rare first edition from the Legend of Blue Eyes. You said 530, you said you don't feel good about it. 510, sure, you felt good about it. So mm -hmm. I feel like you didn't feel good about it based on what I heard. <laughs> You're it's right. It's 265. <laughs> 
dude. I get the logic. It's it, it's from the first set, but it is only a super rare. Yeah. I, I bet it was 500 a few like probably a year ago, but then you know the prices have kind of come down a little bit. Uh, it's a tough one. Okay, you got two more. We asked these both at the same time. You know one of these is a tier three because you've only had two of them so far. The other one is completely random. Could be one, two, or three. Keep that in mind. Here it is, the final round. Question nine. We have Summon Skull Ultra Rare First Edition for Metal Raiders. Then for question 10, we have Relinquished Ultra Rare First Edition from Magic Ruler. Dang. Which one do you think is the tier three? Or I think it could technically both be, but which one do you think is tier three? Oh, probably Relinquished. Because I'm pretty sure Magic Ruler is a little tougher to come by if I'm correct. I can technically give you some info on this because it doesn't have anything to do with the card, theoretically. So Magic Ruler is the third set. It is actually easier to find than Metal Raiders. I will tell you that. Oh, OK. Well, I don't know anything. I didn't uh, I didn't help you. No, you know a lot. I'm just I'm just <laughs> throwing that out there. I do have this exact summon skull card. I'm also forgetting how much the friggin gate guardian was. That's already happened, but the Gate Guardian was three hundred forty dollars. That's free reign. You know, we've already been. Yeah, that we've much. already done that. So that was three hundred forty dollars for that one. Okay, you know what? Summon Skull Tier Three. Okay. And I think that one is three hundred exactly. Three hundred exactly. All right. Okay, I like it. And for Relinquished, I'm thinking Tier Two. High Tier Two. I'm gonna go two. 30. 230. Okay. All right. So you're locking those in your final two answers. Yes. Those are my final, final answers. Final two answers. Here we go. Question nine. Summon Skull Ultra Rare First Edition from Metal Raiders. You said 300. This card is $399. Ah. So it, it's, uh, it actually is more expensive than the Gate Guardian, which is kind of really? weird, but it's probably the card outside of the Gate Guardian. So, it, and sometimes those ultra rares are weird to come by, but still not a bad Damn. guess. You're still within a hundred. That's not too bad. True. Now your 10th question, the Relinquish Ultra Rare First Edition for Magic Ruler. You think in tier two, you said $230. It is in tier two. Okay. But it's only $153. <laughs> okay. So it's not bad. You're you're in the tier. So that, that's right. it, it's at least $10 worth of credit right there, which is not bad. Okay, not too bad. We're going to have to total up and see how you did. Yeah, damn. How, how are you feeling now? It's nice that I'm that I was in the correct tiers, but I think later on I'm also going to be in tiers as well from the other ones that I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Literal crying. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to try and remove those tears, but let's see <laughs> if this was... Well, we'll see where you stack because we have had 12 guests before this, so we're going to see what position you're in. All right, I'm going to do okay. a little math here. A few moments later. All right, Curtis, are you ready for the results? I'm ready. So the total amount of cards, the value from the 10 cards that I asked you was $1,751, which is actually lower than normal. Normally it's like 2,300, but I guess somehow I, I guess I didn't give you one that is like $700 like I normally do. Right. So that like affects like, so now you have less margin for error. So that's, <laughs> that hurts you a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. You were $649 off total. And most of it was because you missed that 245 on one of them. That, re that really hurt. But yeah, that's you got dumb. eight tiers correct. So you get to subtract that away. So it was 569 after that. In Great. total, you were 32.50% off, which fortunately for you is not last place. So you're good to go. Let's go. Hold on. Let me press my uh, applause button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not a bad performance for someone who doesn't really keep up with Yu-Gi-Oh! And honestly, like the lower number actually made it harder. I didn't even realize that, but not giving you a really high one made the total right. lower. So uh, theoretically, you did even better than the number show. So theoretically, I'm kind of in first place, is what you're saying. Theoretically, you were the best one we've had on yet. <laughs> Sick. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Not bad, Curtis. Thanks again for hopping on. I know you got a busy schedule. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you got anything else you want to say before we hop out? Shout out, Roxin. Shout out, everybody watching. Thanks for having me on. This was uh, a lot of fun. I don't know. Let's go subscribe to everybody. <laughs> subscribe to everybody on YouTube, okay? Go out there. <laughs> do not stop pressing the subscribe button everybody. until there's no one left. All right, this was awesome. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Curtis Connor just wins you guys $50. Make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and do not forget to leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget about Curtis Connor's channel. I'm sure you're all subscribed to it because he has like 4.9 thousand million subscribers. So get exactly. over there, check him out. He's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a great time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.